So I'm back in the ICU and one of my patients is doing really well, ready to be discharged home. But she still needs a few days so we can tweak her meds and arrange for home care. The nurse asked me, what should we do with the peripheral IV? She still has a peripheral IV and it hasn't been used for days. Usually, I just say, let's keep it. In case we need it before she leaves the hospital, something happens. But is that a good reason? Well, it turns out that for many hospitalized patients, the answer is no. In a new story in NEGM Clinician, we highlight a review article from the Journal of Hospital Medicine's really great series called Things We Do For No Reason. The authors looked at the evidence behind keeping peripheral IVs in place just in case, and it turns out that, as the name of the series implies, it's one of these things we do for no reason. Here's what I learned. About a quarter of peripheral IVs sit unused. More than a third fail before treatment is needed, including immersion treatment like cardiac arrest, which really challenges the notion that peripheral IVs are good for emergent access. And of course, meds that we give IV can be given orally. Not only there's no good reason to keep them, but they can actually cause harm. 20% of patients have non-infectious complications like phlebitis, pain, and, and other things. But more concerning, they also can cause local and bloodstream infections. Peripheral IVs account for more than a third of staph aureus catheter-related bacteremias because they're used so often, even if they have a lower per-device risk than central venous catheters. So the takeaway is clear. We should reassess peripheral IVs the same way you do for Foley catheters and central lines. If they're no longer needed and the patient can take oral meds, we should remove them. To learn more and see what else matters this week, please visit us at clinician.ndjm.org.